All right. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Just Chatting Mondays, or shall I say, brand new, maybe like super late or something? I don't know. Um, um, there we go. Is this the right one? Is this the right one? Does this work? Um, can I change the song here? Yes, I can. I can. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new uh, Just Chatting Mondays right here from this scene. Um, I decided, why not? Why not go here and sit right here? Um, I make sure that I have my cable right set up properly. Uh, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Um, as you can see, we have an interesting mic setup. Uh, you can't see the mic. That's not really the point. Um, let's see. Is that better? I, I hope that's better. Um, so yeah, welcome everyone. I have my chat right here. Uh, my trusty or worthy chat. Let me go put that right there. Um, maybe I still have something on my overlay. I'm not quite sure. I really can't tell. Can, do I have something on my overlay? Do I have a chat on my overlay? I have no clue. Actually, I don't think so. Hold on, let me go fix that. Let me go fix that. All right. All right, here we go. We are right here. I need to go fix that. I don't see a chat on that overlay, which is bad. Um, and there would also not be no alerts right there. Okay, so that should be fixed right now. Let me go back into here and then let's go and move back to the other scene right here, um, which I can just do. Like so. All right. So here we are. Welcome back. Um, I like this this place to sit. It feels a little bit more. Um, what's it called? It feels a little bit more like natural. Also, I think I'm just gonna move the mic like this because honestly, I don't care with the mic being in the picture, and I think this is a lot nicer in terms of audio quality. So we're just gonna keep it like this. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure like how long I'll stream. Like I have like a bit of the sniffles today. Like nothing like. I got no corona or anything. I'm not sick. It's just like the temperature, which is sucks. <laughs> um, but it's supposed to get like really warm at the end of the week, which should be in the new year. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, this is like a quick little update stream. I hope you guys' Christmas was okay. I hope that like you enjoyed your Christmas Eve, your Christmas, your Christmas Day, second Christmas Day, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, if you celebrated it, if you didn't, then... Well, hope you still enjoyed those days. Um, I kind of wanted to like do a quick update stream because it felt weird not having streamed for quite some time. Uh, I'm sick. Holy shit, villager! I hope I hope it's not Dorona, but um, regardless of what it is, I hope that you can get that you get better soon. Because being sick uh, during the holidays kind of really sucks. But then again, like it also makes a lot of sense because like a lot of times, like what I find is like the moments that people get sick is literally the times like when you can kind of like relax. Well, you've like been holding on for so long and you relax and then you get hit because like, you know, you've been like going strong for so long and then like you're, the moment you can relax, you kind of like your weakness shows. So I don't know how that works. I like, I don't know how that works scientifically, but it always happens that around the start of like vacations is just like my, my weakest time. I think it's just a cold. Yeah. A lot of people are getting like the, the not COVID cold sort of thing, which is, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Jin, what up? What's up, man? So yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out like how to do this with like, like, I just have the sniffles, which is honestly really, really annoying. <laughs> um, so, like, and I don't want that to, like, constantly be caught up by the audio. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah. Um, aside from that, fellow Jeff, I hope you guys' this Christmas was okay. Um, today, I kind of want to do a quick stream um, because it's been way too long. But it's annoying to have bad hearing from being sick. Okay, should I shout louder? Should, 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 should I get really close to the microphone? Should we do a... Uh, should we do a uh, ASMR stream? Actually, shit, that might just be my I'm whispering now. Maybe you're not able to hear me. Maybe you're not able to hear me. Maybe I should shout. Maybe I should shout. <laughs> I'm doing that especially far away from the microphone because otherwise I know that like that will be peaking people and that will be peaking people with headphones on. I don't like people peeking my headphones. I know Cole did that as a gag in his videos. Like he would always ear rape people. And I, I understood a lot of gags. I never understood the ear rape gag because like the ear rape gag is just like it just blows away your ears. It's like there you go. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoy having your ears blown out. And like, no, I do not enjoy that at all. <laughs> um, I can't use my ears for tactical advantage so much. Holy shit, dude. So, um, what do you do now? <laughs> but uh, having surround sound headphones is nice. Having good headphones is really, really nice. Especially one with like a real long cable. Actually, though, this cable could have been like a little bit longer because as you can see, it's like really like there. So <laughs> anyway, 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 um, but yeah, today, Quick little stream, um, kind of because, like, I think my last stream was the 17th of December, uh, which is 10 fucking days ago, holy fuck! Um, and yeah, um, 
this kind of like catching up. Uh, I think this week we'll have at most, if everything goes perfectly, if I want to do every single stream that I can, we'll have the most free streams, which will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But I'm not quite sure whether we're like whether I'm gonna do that, but we'll see. I'm just trying to relax and recover from work. You, I'm doing exactly the same. <laughs> so the, one of the reasons why there hasn't been that many like uh, there hasn't been that much content lately is because like it's just been like an insanely busy period. Um, I've been trying to catch up. Basically, like I have ten streams which I still need to like um, like make thumbnails for, make good titles for, and then like upload them, schedule them for upload on the Archive channel. I still have um, what is it? I still have six Halo videos? I have three Rage videos. I have three Halo 4 videos that I need to make and then schedule and like throw out. And then I have a two and a half hour new war video that also needs to be coming out. Um, so yeah, <laughs> right now it is like recovering from like the busy time of like the not fun stuff. And now it's working towards like catching up on the fun stuff. Uh, so that's why things are going to be taking long. But the new war does have my priority right now. I am working on that. Um, but I was like, well, I could release it right now. But actually, like, it's so fun. I, it's so fun. Like, I've been I've been working back on that video. Like, and then and now I'm like, oh, dude, I can do this cool thing. I can do that cool thing. So I don't want to rush it. I do not want to rush it. I do not want to like shit it out like another like you know halo video halo videos are fun like the playthrough videos are fun but they're not uh like i don't do cool interest for them i don't do like cool effects for them or anything because basically it's like it's kind of to me a stream summary of a kind and i don't want to like if i do too much for them like i wouldn't have time for anything else so it's just kind of like you know making a stream summary of this but uh like for the new war i kind of want to do something special because i think it would be cool and uh, i have some fun ideas with it um so that is kind of like what i have in mind for that um so that's kind of like the way that it's its content rise so like that's also why like i'm not quite sure what i would do on stream like this week uh since basically i still need to catch up with like the stream archive get everything up there right now this will be the 10th or 11th video that i would like have to put out there and i don't want to like litter everyone's sub boxes that I subscribe to the archive channel uh, all of a sudden uh, and at the same time I don't think I should progress with Halo in any point in time right now uh, before I am caught up with those like those highlight videos so that like once Halo 5 comes around everyone can catch up uh, we can do Halo 5 we can do Halo Infinite New Year and then we can move to uh, Black Mesa we can move to uh, Warhammer 40k we can move to the new Horizon game is coming out uh, there's a lot of things that we can move to so yeah uh, I just play Cyberpunk for now can't do PvP Dude, Cyberpunk is a fun game. I remember last year, last year, like, Cyberpunk was actually out during this month. And actually, like, for some reason, I think that this month I was also really fucking busy. Because I remember Cyberpunk came out at the start of the month. And then, like, we started doing it at the start of the year, which was pretty damn cool. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed Cyberpunk. We started this year with Cyberpunk. And, um, I mean, Villagers ended this year with Cyberpunk, which is pretty fun. Um, I hope that it's, like, better. I don't think that they actually released the DLC. Oh, wait, are you almost done with Halo 4? We finished it. We finished it... Ooh, 10 days ago, 12 days ago, 13 days. We finished it the 13th, which would be exactly two weeks ago, I guess, I think. Not quite sure. We, we did finish it. We did finish it. That, I know about that. I know about how that ended. I know about how Halo 4 ended. I know I was kind of blown away. I kind of wanted to, like, keep on going. And I couldn't really see why people would call it the bad Halo, because I've really had a good experience, so... So I have no clue. I have no clue why people are like, oh my god, I hate it so much. But maybe what they do in Halo 5 fucks it up, I guess. Um, but yeah, then again, like... I don't know, have you all played, like, the, the new war? Has, has everyone here played new war or seen a new war if you wanted to? Because, like... I don't know, man. It, it might also just be, like, a... Uh, what's it called? It might also just be a... Um, a veteran thing sort of thing. Maybe people that have been, like, really close to the franchise. Like hate it because there's like little technicalities that are wrong because honestly like i really enjoyed the new war except for the ending i thought the ending was super strange um like not necessarily strange in a sense of like i couldn't really get what was going on but at the same time yeah i couldn't really get what was going on because they were kind of like throwing things back and forth and like they were kind of like trying to be a little bit convoluted but at the same time like the thing which i also like which kind of like made me like i always feel like they want to force you to feel something which i hate um I was about to say I'm um, uh, to say I'm watching the video uh, 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 on how Cortana got my rate by the grave mind. To me, the new war is just the same as all the other Warframe stuff with occasional new dialogue. I'm not a Warframe person, dude. I can get that entirely. I get that entirely. There's a whole bunch of people uh, <laughs> that I know who are not Warframe people, and I, I think that's good on you. Good on you. Like like make sure you stay away from that game because it's it's a time sink. It's an absolute fucking time sink. <laughs> so um, yeah, like. 
it's it's gonna be up your taste. I think that one thing that that game does does good is that like for for the value, zero dollars, um, for the value it does deliver you a game, which you can play quite a lot and still be rewarded somewhat for it like you can basically like if you have no money and you want to find a game where you can play and you can feel like hey the activity that i'm doing feels rewarding um i can go and get myself some stuff basically uh so like you can go and get weapons you can go and farm mods you can go for warframes and like the activities you do for that is still somewhat fun like I, I think it's more fun than Genshin because with Genshin even though like the landscape is probably like a little bit more beautiful the characters are a little bit more like have more personality to them and even though like the story is better done in Genshin the problem with Genshin is that like the fighting isn't really the most fun part um because it's very confluent now Warframe still has a lot of confusion around it but once you kind of get a knack of like mods and Warframes and mods and weapons you're kind of golden like you can play like 2000 hours and have fun with it so if you are just looking for a game where you can just like zone out don't need to focus on anything but also don't want to be like skilled or at anything like you can just go play warframe i think that's good of it but yeah um let's see um oh it was so boring at the end i thought it was going to be like jujutsu kaisen zero at the end but you already know so like the thing which i've always had with warframe and the storytelling is i love the second dream because the second dream kind of like just displayed itself and like had like kind of let you make up your own mind uh, even though, like, that already upset a large part of the player base. Because, like, Warframe has always been, like, it started out as just really open-ended things. Like, here's a game. We don't have really story. Just, like, make up your story. We're Space Ninjas. That's all you know. Just make up your own story. And then all of a sudden, they came in with these little kids. And, like, now you're a little kid that controls a thing. It's like, fuck that. And, like, a lot of people said, fuck that to that. Uh, but still, like, you were kind of, like, presented what this was. And you were so there was a lot left up to interpretation. There's a lot left to, like, hey, you know, we have this Lotus thing, which just guides us whatever the fuck that is we have this like stalker thing we're like kind of wants to kill us but also is hesitant so whatever the fuck that means it's up to us um so like there was a lot of things around um around that story that kind of like left things open however what i did not like uh about the ending of um like what i did not like about the ending of the new war is that it kind of got into this territory of you are supposed to feel this right now you're supposed to think this right now you're supposed to think that this thing is cool you're supposed to so like for instance like you're supposed to know <laughs> like first of all like the, like the like i've made an entire list of motivations and like what people what like what people did and what their motivations are like i kind of want to like analyze that later on in a future video but like the thing which i found was that it was very unclear to me it was like sentients are attacking want to destroy the entire uh, origin system because tau was threatened and the goal of the sentients is to destroy the origin system that, that that's what i knew the sentience as and era was then apparently the leader of the sentients but like i didn't really know him because like the only thing that the only time that he showed up wasn't that like era teaser quests which is like two two like cinematics and that was it and it was locked behind rail decks like god warframe you can't expect me to know that shit you can't expect me to like have gone for that shit or remember that at all because it wasn't important um but yeah anyway like he's the leader sent just wants to destroy everything you have ballas and ballas was kind of like you were supposed to know who Ballas was for like but they never really introduced Ballas. this in the same way that they never really had they've never really given these people an arc they've never really given these people like enough time to display themselves and like make us come to like inclusive like for instance with like halo um the bond that that's that, that's there between cortana and master chief isn't right at the start in halo 1 that they're like oh my god cortana and master chief are super close like they really care for them they're like a good team like cortana and master chief like oh man we're such a good team we want to save no cortana is just like it's a ship's ai ship's ai has got to go with master chief because when the ship crashes enemy can't take the ai that's the way it goes and like over time because you engage a lot with each other and because they write it out as like a character or sort of thing like you kind of like get this thing where it's like oh my god like you know I, I start to care and then by the end of halo 4 you have this thing where it's like hey don't leave me it's like fuck yeah you know you feel that because like that's given time to nurture and like grow but here like dude the entire ending thing where it's like oh yeah no we gotta care about that like the, Lo the, the lotus is like mad at us i'm like we want to save her it's like no i didn't want to save the bitch because to me like her character development was so shallow that like my resentment for like having glitch lotus for five fucking years was higher than like any level of sympathy that i had for like the shallow level of character like arc that she had that was like fuck it if i could kill her i'd kill her because i don't really care for her and like that is what i had with like a lot of characters like the moment it era like sacrifice himself to hold up a beam it's like huh 
the moment of the era was like, oh my god, Bellas didn't save her. It's like, huh? It's like, it was weird because like, at the end, it's like, Balas is like mad at things. He's rambling about things. It's like, what was your motive? Like, why do you, why are you doing this? Like, how does this work in your mind? Or they're like, oh, I'm the big bad. And then, I mean, like, they don't even let you fight. This fucking game doesn't even let you fight. <laughs> like, that is so weird. Like, they build up this entire thing. Like, oh my god, we have a big villain. And like, they don't even let you fight. Like, that was the weirdest shit to me. So yeah, it's like, oh my god, but Lotus is so strong. You Like, you can't damage the Lotus because she's too strong. It's like, fuck that, man. Like, get the fuck out. Oh my god, you can't damage Bellas because he's too strong. Like, you're supposed to think that these are the strongest creatures in the world. And then you can't do any damage because you're a puny little seven. Get the fuck out of here. You see me do, like, one million damage with my... Get the fuck out. So yeah. Let's see. Um... Uh, to me, all the Warframe updates are just the same gameplay with a Microsoft with changes to the game. Even the Minecraft updates feel more interesting due to the freedom and creativity of the building and stuff. Can can't compare with my Warframe of Minecraft compared with completely different games, but you get my point. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I think that one thing that um, Warframe doesn't do right anymore is like their updates have just been like all fucking over the place. I think that one thing that they did right at the start is that they constantly iterated and like their focus was very much on like a single point where it's like, hey, you know, you have a new weapon and the new weapon can do a certain, certain thing and the new Warframe was like a completely different take on what like, what has been done before. Now a lot of new Warframe, new gears and stuff, like it's just, they just, they're so similar, man. Like right now as well, it's like... Um, the new war, like, in a sense, the quest line has been fantastic. I think that, like, the way that they executed the quest was fantastic because it was so differently done than the rest of the game. But you can't go back, you can't replay it. You cannot replay this quest. You cannot. So, like, now you're just stuck with the rest of the game like it normally was. So, like, nothing really has changed apart from, like, there was five hours that was completely different, which was quite a bit of fun, but a weird ending. So, yeah. Um, I thought he was going to be the Big Betty era. I wanted her to be sacrificed and the Lotus agreeing with it. Yeah, it's like... But also, but also, like, I don't, I like, I don't understand that they did not show Bala's, like, also, <sighs> there's just, a, there's just, like, also, like, tiny little nitpicks, like, where did he get the helmet from to, like, oh, man, like, mind control Bala's, where the fuck did, like, why didn't they show that, like, Lotus and Era and Bala's were, like, scheduling to, like, you know, Confirm, like, like, le basically, like, they're missing entire elements of it. Like, like, let's say that, um, what is it? Let's say that we never, in Halo 2, we never saw the coffin inside of it. And all of a sudden, we're in the cave, and it's like, the Arbiters is like, Oh yeah, I'm here to help you now. It's like, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't be, you would be like, it's like, well, some people would be like, but some people would be like, oh man, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, another covenant. But most people would just be like, get the fuck out of here, dude. You're just telling me that this covenant is going to help me now? Because... He being, like, abandoned or something? Like, fuck it the fuck out. And that's the same thing with, like, they never set up Ballas to be, like, a manipulative, uh, mind-controlling bitch. Which, uh, that's the storyline they want to go with. He was a manipulative, uh, like, mind-controlling bitch that, like, like mind-controlled loads, and that's why she was mean to you. It's like, fuck, get the fuck out. They never showed, like, what happened when they got her in. It's like, all of a sudden, like, you just come in, and like, oh yeah, we've already taken over, and she's dead. It's like... So, like, they're trying to be mysterious, they're trying to be, like, but they never really, like, make sure that they have, like, the backing to, like, do certain things. So, yeah. Let's see. I think D thought we were just going to continue swinging, shooting, and throwing hands at Bellas while he was slowly walking towards Lotus, giving a force speech about a fucking Yaniski. Dude, that, that shit was so weird. Like, the entire fight was so weird, because you kind of had this thing where it was, like... Hmm. He kind of had, like... You kind you, you... <laughs> That wasn't a fight. It really wasn't a fight. He was like, oh, I'm going to control Lotus to kill it, to, to kill the Tenno. It's just like, she just shoots a beam. She just shoots a beam once in a while. Not all the time, just once in a while. It's not even like trying to kill us. It's just like once in a while a beam. And like the beam we directed at the bulls. And the bulls are a weak point or, or of him or something. But they never explain how they are a weak point. And he never says, oh my god, you're destroying my bulls. I didn't know that you could destroy my bulls. And you're like, that hurts me. They keep, it's not like he doesn't even care. He sees that happening, he doesn't even care. He gets hurt, he doesn't even care. Like, he doesn't do anything with, like, being hurt. Like, what the fuck, dude? And then, like, you get that fight with, like, Ballas, which is the exact same shit. It's like, he hasn't learned anything. And then all of a sudden, it's like, like you can walk up to him and just, like, start hacking and slacking. This is, like, zero, zero, zero damage. Or you can just, like, stand around and just do nothing. And each, each, each option is horrible. Each fucking option is horrible. So... Like, yeah, make him do something. But, like, make, make us fight him. Give him, like, an insane health bar or something. But make us fight him. Make us engage with him. 
it was so weird. It was really, really fucking weird. Warframe be like, hey, look, a new weapon. Guess what? It will take 80 hours total to fabricate it. Now pay with your lifetime. True that. True that. True that. Cortana or Ordis Cortana, actually. I, uh, I, I've bonded way more with Cortana. Even though I spent more time with Ordis and I don't dislike Ordis, I do think that Cortana has, like, way more character built into her. So... I think that if Warframe, like, continued on with, like, some people said, like, Warframe should, like, should have been a single player game. And I think that, like, if Warframe was a single player story game, and they actually, like, took inspiration from, like, that first part of the new war, they could have made a killer ass single player story game. But because, like, they, they kind of have this, like, entire multiplayer game to support, it's, it's also weird, man. It's weird. But yeah, so, like, I liked it. I really did. And actually, like, fun fact, I've been playing a little bit, and I'm kind of considering maybe, like, making some... Like, I, I want to see how... Uh, what's it called? I want to see how the new War video performs, and I have a couple of Warframe video ideas. Um, but we'll talk about that later for, like, coming year ideas sort of thing. Uh, give him a DBC Frieza transformation or something. Make him scary to fight. Yeah, or, like, like at least make him do something. Like, make him teleport maybe or so. But he was just standing around. He's like, oh, he's invincible. I hate invincibility in games, man. And I really hate when boss battles come down to, like, oh, yeah, the one NPC is taking out the boss NPC. Like, can you imagine if... Let me see. I mean, like, technically... Technically, Cortana took out... Like, in Halo 4, like, Cortana finished it. But you still have to, like, you know, plant the grenade sort of thing like you still do something but like let's say that you're fighting um hmm let's say that like in halo 3 like in order to like destroy the infestation basically in order to destroy the flood like you just stand there as like master chief and then some other spartan comes in and is like oh i'm gonna do it boom it's like Fuck, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. That's not nice. That's not fun. So, yeah. Like I said, if you don't kill him, then your Warframe gets, will get Ligma. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good. But, yeah, so, like, like yeah. The, the, I have to say, overall, I'm positive about the quest, but I would definitely think Switch, like, Warp, man. Yeah. But, yeah. That's, uh, that's as much about Warframe so far. Um, I think that um, there's definitely, like, interesting things about that, uh, about that game in the sense of I have honestly been... Like, surprisingly, I've been surprised, like, pleasantly surprised by the things that it touched on and the things that it brought us about. And, like, the way that, especially the first part of the quest was done, I really enjoyed that. And uh, I've also been playing a little bit with, like, a couple of people on Discord, and um, I'm not hating it. <laughs> which uh, is a good thing, which is definitely a good thing. So, um, anyway, um, man, I am really still having the sniffles, which is a Honestly, I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry that it's like, if it's coming through the microphone that much. Hold on, just a second. All right, I'm back again. Hopefully that should be a little bit better. Uh, Lord Jerry, what's up, dude? How's it going? Hey, man, I need some help with advice. What's up, dude? I don't know if I can, uh, I can give you proper advice, but we can at least talk about it. We can at least figure something out. More mines work better than one, I guess. So. Speaking of that, more mines work better than one. I have no idea how to bridge to the next thing, but that's going to be 2022. Um, in a couple of days, we'll be 2022. Um... That's gonna be that's gonna be the new year. Wow, I'm I'm really fucking amazing. Uh, so for Christmas, my sister's boyfriend got mad. I smashed his girlfriend. What should I do? Move to Alabama if you haven't done that already. If you're not in Alabama, move to move to it. Be along some friends. You'll be along some like people that can very much relate to you. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, how are you? And, and are you happy? I am very happy. I am very happy, especially since I haven't died yet. <laughs> I don't know why I replied with that, but anyway, no, no, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. Um, just like one of the final streams of the of the year, since like the days are like coming to it. It's always weird. Christmas spirits are always weird. People always say like, oh man, you get a stream during December. You gotta like make content during December. But also during December, I'm fucking tired, dude. Like just like everyone. <laughs> 
I've been having a busy year, basically, and like, I, like, I actually do find out right now, it's like, I kind of get why people are having holidays and why people are having like vacation stuff because it's a perfect time to just like crash and relax and fall asleep. But like, honestly, I've been pretty damn tired too. Christmas is either fun and nice or shit and miserable. It really is. Like, I never really understood how people could be miserable during Christmas. But the thing which I found when it comes to like Christmas is that so many people have like such high expectations of Christmas. Like, they want it to be perfect or they want these people to be there and they want you to behave this certain way. And if you don't, fuck you. And people can get really mad about that. So there's like a lot of conflict and a lot of like people were just like, oh, you know, we're going to have interactions. We're going to have like base level interactions where, oh my God, we're just going to talk about like, oh, so how are you doing? Oh, are you like progressing good in school? Are you having a good job career? Oh, but you haven't been working out, have you? It's like very like a lot of times, like you're going to find that people will be in settings where like they're not really going to have they like they can't really be themselves and like that's something which i find weird it's like i'm very glad like i have family where we can just like be ourselves and just like fuck around and we don't have to like put up a front or anything but like for like i know that for like like a lot of people that's kind of the way that it goes uh let's see every day uh, is, a, is a learning lesson my dude and just because it doesn't make sense it doesn't mean to have to uh let's see on another episode of family strokes when will war when will war over christmas happen can we cancel new years and just have a longer 2021 well i guess like we're already having a longer 2020 it still feels like 2020 like honestly i have no idea like how long this shit's gonna go on for it feels like it's going on for fucking ever but hey that's just what it is that's just what it is <laughs> so yeah um I, I, it's kind of weird it's, it's really weird like my perception of time over like this these past two years has been like all over the place on the one hand i still very clearly remember when they said oh my god two week lockdown and we're still two weeks in uh <laughs> but uh like basically on the other hand if i if i think back like when, when did we play cyberpunk at least like for at the start of the year it's like that feels fucking long ago. Cyberpunk feels fucking long ago. That, like, last year, that was like the hot new game that everyone fucking trashed on because it like people had so much, uh, so many expectations about it. It was like, it was insane. Also, The Witcher Season 2 has come out. I kind of really want to watch The Witcher Season 2 because I've heard it's good. Um, but Witcher Season 1 feels relatively recent. That was two years ago. That's 2019. 20 fucking 19. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I want to watch that. I wanted to make some time this, um, this vacation, this holidays to like watch that. And then, yeah, like, what else do we have? Like, like, time is all over the place, man. The world started going down, downhill after the Harambe incident. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They should have never shot the damn gorilla, dude. They should have never shot the gorilla. After that, the world's been going to shit. The world's been absolutely going to shit. Look, look at, like, when did the internet peak? 2016. What, what do we have now? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We have nothing to show for it. It's, it's, it's what it is. It's trash. So yeah, you know those random news articles that Google gives on your phone? Uh, actually, like I don't really, <laughs> I do not. I would never allow Google to do that because holy fucking shit, I do not like that. I, I don't like recommendation shit on my phone. I actually try to keep my phone as far away from me as possible because a lot of times that shit gets me distracted. <laughs> if I'm distracted, I don't do the shit I'm supposed to do. But yeah, I get some pretty deep uh, psychics once, and one was telling what was about the law of physics changing. I was like, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> Oh man, Jen says I literally, dude, I remember the waiting room for Cyberpunk. I literally made this waiting room for Cyberpunk, but never got a chance to invite anyone due to the scheduling. Dude, I remember like we were looking at that, uh, like we even like I, I like we showed it off on stream as well, which is really fucking cool. But yeah, we didn't really get a chance to do that. Like the thing which I find is that it's strange in the sense of I'm looking ahead at more things, but also like these things seem to pass by quicker. So, like, for instance, like the new war was like one which I was looking ahead further at than like, I knew a couple of weeks before, like, oh shit, this shit is coming. Where previous war from updates, I didn't really like, it was like, oh my God, sacrifice coming up next week. It's like, holy fucking shit. Now I knew a month in the phones that this shit was coming. Halo Infinite. Normally, like, games would launch, and I would see it on Twitter, like, oh my god, some games have launched. I'm like, oh shit, let me go ch check it out. Halo Infinite now, and you're like, oh shit, in about two or three months' time, Halo Infinite is gonna launch. Let me go play for the Halo games. Let's go try the beta. Uh, Battlefield 2042 is gonna launch. Like, let me go play the beta. Let me maybe get it on, like, on launch, but didn't really have the time for it, and didn't really seem to be, like, that great a game to, like, actually, like, get into it. Um, but then, like, even though, like, I have more time to prepare for these things, at the same time, these things just, like, go so much faster than they ever would beforehand. It's, like, it's crazy. Because, let me give you an example. It's, like, the waiting room for, what's it called? The waiting room for uh, Cyberpunk. It's, like, I knew Cyberpunk was coming up. I was really proud that I knew that Cyberpunk was coming up because I was, like, holy shit. This is the first time I actually know, like, a cool game is coming out. Everyone has, like, expectations for it. But then normally, you would have, like, this 
I remember we had that in Warframe, you'd have like waiting nights, like, like you'd wait for like this thing to come out and you'd be sitting in the waiting room like, oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. And now it's like, I mean like the new War and Cyberpunk, they just came out while I was doing other shit. Like I was busy, like oh shit, this morning, this shit game, this shit launched, so yeah. Let's see, guess I'll use that room for another Cyberpunk game if, I, if anyone actually makes a good one. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All of a sudden, like, the entire, like, uh, what was it? Like, cyberpunk genre was, like, super hot when, like, Cyberpunk 2077 was coming up. Like, everyone wanted to make their own cyberpunk game. And then all of a sudden, the moment that Cyberpunk 2077 flopped, it was like, no, I've not heard anyone talk about another cyberpunk game. I thought that, what was it called? The Ascent was a pretty fun one. Um, but yeah. Let's see... I was disappointed to find out that the Wayland Industries and Wayland Yutani websites are down. Wayland Yutani is an Aliens universe, if you don't know. Why are they down? It's like, is it just like an uh, accidental thing, or is it like a uh, a thing which has been, like, they've just taken it down? It's actually like really sad to see like online content go down because basically, like, you feel like it's always going to be present, but a lot of online content just isn't going to be present for a long time. So yeah. Ghost Runner was good too. I have not tried Ghost Runner. I'll uh, I'll give that a shot, uh, along with Fury. I'll check this out. I'll check this out for sure. So yeah, this week I'm not quite sure what to do with streams. Uh, I don't want to continue on another Halo thing, and I don't know if I can stream like a lot, since well, basically. Um, for next year, I do want to try and like do a little bit more Warframe and Apex, basically, in the sense of I really want to structure streams around like. Um, comfort games and playthrough games like basically if we look back at last year uh this year 2021 has been really strong in the playthrough games like to like i can't the like, fucking subnautica was this year fucking horizon zero was this year fucking titanfall 2 and battlefield 4 were this year it's like i like those feel so long ago but these were all this year this year we've been going on going for so many really cool games and playing through those and i'm so glad that you guys like brought me into those experiences that like that's been fantastic however if you look at like what was really strong the year before 2020 and now 2021 uh we were really strong like our comfort games like i was still at the start of 2020 played a bit of warframe then 2020 like at the end we played a lot of among us now we don't really have that like we're kind of like bouncing around between like oh wait hey you know we have the two halo streams and then we have a just chatting stream and in the other two streams like we kind of just like maybe play a bit of halo infinite maybe play a little bit of apex maybe do another just chatting stream it's like it's kind of all over the place and there's like no like set thing where we can just like chill and just like you know hang out and have fun with uh so i'm kind of want so, so like i kind of want to like go ahead and attempt doing that like a little bit for like war from apex um I'll like make a video about it, discussing that or like maybe I'll discuss that on stream another time when I'm like a little bit clearer minded when I'm not as tired as I am right now. But basically like the idea behind it is that I've been struggling to find like what is like the right balance for like me to like enjoy a game as like a main game sort of thing. And like I remember back when I played what was it called back when I started making content I loved this Warframe game I thought it was fantastic then like some things happened and like I was like oh I don't like this but like like let me continue continue to make content about it because you'll like it uh and then like i discovered like oh that i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it if i could I'll always make content about things that i don't like so let me just move entirely away from it uh and that went so, sort of a raid then i discovered apex i was like oh shit maybe apex is something which i really fucking like and then i kind of liked it but then there were also things which i didn't like i was like oh fuck well i guess i can't play this game now because there are things which i don't like and now i've kind of been wondering like can I also play a game and like like certain bits of it and also not like certain other bits of it and just be fine with that and still play it? Uh, and I think that that's kind of the answer. I think that it's better that like you can actually have a game and like stream it or make content about it where like you like some bits and you don't like some other bits. Um, but you still have an overall fun time. And the thing which I found is like over the last couple of weeks or like the last week actually, I've been playing with a couple of people that like are trying to get into Warframe after like the new war. And I thought I was going to hate it. I thought I was going to hate every single second of it. If I were to have it on and play it. Actually, I'm having like a bit of fun. Especially like if we're in Discord and like just talking. Just hanging out. Uh, Arturia, what's going on, man? Uh, so yeah, like uh, the current topic right now is that like looking forward to next year. Um, I think that like I am going to try and like like make uh, Warframe and Apex like uh, what's it called? Comfort games that we're just going to play like two times a week on stream. I want to like make a more set schedule for it and also want to make video content about it because I have some video ideas about it. And like my idea is never ever again to become a Warframe channel, never ever again to become like an Apex or like one single thing channel. 
but I like I have more ideas that I can do with them, and then, like I, I think it would be better if there would be at least a video out than no video out, because like, over the last little while there just haven't been videos out, and like we have like we've not done streams because I didn't know what the fuck to do, because <laughs> like we're not always gonna be playing through Halo or like we're not always gonna be playing through like a, whatever story game we're going through, even though that's been really strong this year, and I'm really fucking glad that I've done I've done that because I love how that goes. Just playing some Destiny, I got thrown into in a match the moment I logged into the point that I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> That's me with Destiny. I log into it, I'd like something's happening, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude, but I'll just like shoot and I'll just like follow the objective and like hopefully it will be good. Uh but yeah, like Destiny is something which I really don't follow. But yeah. Uh, like, I think it's a really fun game, like, I, I love, like, the gunplay in it, but, like, I, I don't follow the storyline, and, like, I'll just be thrown into it, it's like, okay, I'll just go follow this, and there's some dudes talking to me, and, like, I'm sure, yeah, sure, let's go for it, let's fucking go. <laughs> so, yeah, um, anyway, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, god. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just kind of, like, rambling, trying to figure out, like, what did I have on this thing. But here, so yeah, this this week, I'm probably expecting this week, maybe, maybe it'll just be this stream, maybe it will be Wednesday as well. Uh, but yeah, I want to figure that out, and then, like, want to have some more, like, uh, regular, like, uh, better frequency in the streams and the videos. Uh, so yeah, that's basically that. Um, I also, like, try and make, like, a 2020, 2021 in review sort of thing, videos, so yeah. There's that. Um, other than that, let's see. We talked about the Christmas. We talked about, like, last couple of weeks. We talked about this week. What's going to be coming up? We talked about 2022. Is there anything else? Holy fuck. Apparently, they're furry an arena with an eternal horse to fight infinity and stuff. That sounds very gamery. Sounds very gamery. <laughs> I wouldn't know what it means, though. So, like, that's one thing which I do find with, like, uh, live services is that, like, they, like, I mean, this seems like something that Warfare might do. It's like, oh, man, but if you, like, if you know this game and if you know, like, what the hell's going on, like, you're, you should be like, oh, my God, and instantly recognize this shit and, like, this is so epic and it's so cool. But most people don't know what the hell is going on. Like, I feel that's something which, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of game devs and a lot of, like, veterans, like, overestimate the degree to which people are following the story and knowing what's going on. So, I used to be part of that too, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing it right now, especially when I go back to, like, something like The New War. I'm like, holy shit, like, I haven't seen a lot of this shit in, like, a really long time, so. I don't know, like, I know half the story, but who knows what else is going on. And, like, I had that with Destiny as well, always. Like, dude, like, you're referring to shit, and I don't even know what it means. So, yeah. Then again, like, when it comes to just single-player story games, they're pretty damn good for it because they, they know what your pace is, so. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know much else to discuss. Um, kind of also because I'm still pretty damn tired. Uh, I was really expecting to be like a lot more energetic, but I just find that like, yeah, at the end of the, at the, end of the year, like, dude, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired from the year. I, I, I'm trying to recover from uh, some of like the stressful times and some of the like, you know, not so much sleep nights. Um, but I'm more tired than I thought I was. Uh, and like, I don't know if you guys have that too, but like when you're working towards a vacation, all of a sudden you're, you're, you got time off. All of a sudden, like, you're just, you're, you're like, you can recover. You have time to recover. And like, sometimes like you're kind of like your estimation of like how much time you need to recover is like spot on. Uh, sometimes it's like far less. So like all of a sudden like, oh my God, I'm so good now. I'm, I'm like, I didn't think it was going to be this, like this energetic soon enough, but now it's like taking me more days than expected. But where from it, still know what's going on. Destiny, however, I'm completely lost to the story you split between those massive expansion and the seasonal stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Speaking of which, working new years. Uh, oh, you mean like, am I working? Uh, am I going to be uh, streaming on new years? Maybe I'll like, I, I don't necessarily know yet. Well, what, like what I'm going to be doing with new years since like a lot of things are like locked down. If I'm going to be here, I might do it. I might just do like a two hour stream. I, I probably won't do like the, the countdown. I've never done that, but like I probably won't do that since I do want to probably do that with family or something. I don't know. Um, but I might just like stream a new year's. Would be fun. Um, maybe if I can, like maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do like the, like only a new year stream if I still can. Um, and then I'll do like a year in review sort of thing. One of the previous seasons apparently had us working with the phone because the fix tried to throw our city into cyberspace and the only reason I know is thanks to buy <laughs> Oh man, dude, I hate it when they, they, like, they tell stories in like seasonal events. It's like, how am I supposed to know that? Let's say I'm busy. Let's say I'm busy during this time where like there was another game that I was playing. Now I missed that and like how am I supposed to know by like, like by for like 
playing the game and not like just reading the wiki. It's like it's weird. It's weird. But yeah, games kind of love to do that because like then they'll pull people in, but like people just like won't be around for that. So, oh well, oh well, oh well. Um. Anyway, uh, I think that that is mostly it for here. So I'm just gonna like move over to there. Um. I like this spot, but uh, it's still kind of strange. <laughs> so let's move here. Cables, 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 cables. I hate cables. Oh boy. Now the light is a little bit weird because of like one of my lights standing here. But uh, what's up, boys? So yeah, I can't fault their logic. Their execution, however, is terrible. As even Warframe had that with their events. Yeah. I just find like if you're fully like involved with the game, like you'll love it. But if you're not, <laughs> you're like holy fucking shit. I can't keep up with this. I can't keep up with this. But yeah. Anyway. Um. I think I'm just gonna keep with a short stream. Uh, I just like there's just still like a lot of stuff to catch up and like I kind of want to like rest a little bit. Just wanted to check in today really quickly. I thank you for like tuning in. Um, maybe I'll do like a New Year stream. I think that like that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, I don't my don't know my plans yet, but we'll see. Now I remember what I was gonna say. I found out why people dislike Reach that much. Why did they? Why did they? You missed the Among Us game yesterday on the casinos. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, but uh, I actually had something like some family stuff come in um like just before that and i was like okay so uh, or like just on that day i was like oh yeah we're gonna do something with family i was like yeah sure sounds cool and then like i went into the server and i went to the event thing as i hit like and like returned my like i said like there's like this thing you hit and says interested and i click i unclicked that but then like i was like did i say to casino that yeah i was coming and i thought i said it in dm but i couldn't find dm but then i remember i said it in like the announcement like I reacted to it, but like it was whatever. Because uh, Dennis says it was because it's because lore wise it pissed off a lot of people because the game contradicted the book Halo: The Fall of Reach. Well, I haven't read the book, so to me, wow, this shit is shaky. All right, uh, I'm gonna find a new like mounting location for this camera because this shit is shaky as all hell. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's just like a note to sell sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I haven't read the book, so honestly, like I quite enjoyed it, even though it was like depressing as fuck, but. I enjoyed it. Anyway, uh, also this lighting is depressing as fuck, man. Holy shit. It doesn't really work well with the hat. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys around. Hopefully on New Year's and otherwise, Happy New Year. Enjoy your 2022. And uh, yeah, enjoy your last few days of 2021. I'll see you guys around next time. Goodbye.